Hey everybody, this is Lori Broccoloni here, HappyNaturalHorse.com, Natural Equine Remedies. And the reason um, I you want to listen to me is because I've been in the horse world all my life, and I don't know why this is zooming in and out. It's just driving me crazy. But anyhow, um, what I want to talk to you about is I've been in the horse world for all my life, and um, I used to feed my horses conventional. Wise. I don't know why it's doing this. I don't want to hide it. I just want to lower it. So anyway, so, um, oh. No, I don't want to zoom it. There we go. Okay, now it's going back to normal. Sorry about that, but got to get this going. It is on colds and flus and strangles for horses. Now, Horses teach you everything. They teach you everything. And so I, like I said, I've had horses all my life. I've been married for 35 years and I had horses before then. But before then, we had more natural feeds. We didn't have a whole lot of crap dumped into them. And the vaccines were nil to none. So um, when I, when my thoroughbred um, stallion died of severe colic, uh, my horse, Appaloosa horse, went blind after his last vaccine. My mare had a tremendous mad bouts of heaves after having tons of rhino shots, and her last one just set her off. And my other mare <coughs> died from it too, from COPD. And that's when I turned to alternative therapies and went to school down in Taft, Florida, under Julie Montgomery, and it was called Holistic Therapies. And she taught acupressure, which I learned, and she taught... Um, homeopathy and she taught all kinds of herbal remedies um, essential oils everything like everything and it was just a mind-blowing experience and so I came back and I immersed myself into studying and learning about it and at the time my daughter was becoming a jockey at the track and so what better way to learn um, and keep my pain point release um, active because you know if you don't practice you lose it and uh, we took horses in and stuff like that so I learned tons I'm telling you tons so that's why I wrote the book um, natural equine remedies and um, we're gonna go there in a minute but we're gonna talk about colds and flus and what I learned how to remedy it and I have remedied so many horses um, with this protocol it's all natural no drugs and I'm telling you it's amazing. So let's go to veterinary manual. What is it? It's a viral. What is um, a, a respiratory diseases of horses? There's virals and there's bacterial. But strangles is a respiratory disease. It's they say it's um, mostly uh, strangles is where it's primarily a bacterial pathogen upper respiratory tract and capital to mucus invasion. So it's a um, non-infectious respiratory disease or inflammation airway disease, which is COPD. So um, that's what it is. So, I mean, the horse will be depressed, be off feed. And my, and my horse actually came down with it and I was really screwed over $800 in vet bills and I was screwed. I mean, and until I found these remedies, and as soon as I have started applying them, and a bout of penicillin, by the way, which they refused to give him, um, so, um, and he almost died, um, the conventional way. So as soon as I found herbs of the world and got mucus mover, boom, he got healthy right away. So what we're gonna do is now that we know what it is, okay. I am going to go to my book, and this is in my book, Natural Equine Remedies, it's called Colds and Flus, okay, now flus can be viral, okay, and, um, but most of the time it's bacterial infections, but, uh, and they're rarely fatal, um, now they're claiming in the, um, Kentucky Research Center to, if the foals get strangles, let them get the strangles, don't give them anything because their immune system will fight it off and they'll be fine. So, um, 
most likely, I always look for the cause. You know, why is the horse sick? Why is he sick? Well, he's sick because his, his immunity system is off. He doesn't have it built up. He's in a stressful environment. Um, I could be around horses that were sick. I used to show with horses that were, you know, around other horses that were sick. I never vaccinated any more my new herd or my other herd anymore, but they had already had their vaccines. But what happened was um, the new ones have never gotten a cold, never gotten snot, never gotten anything. And it doesn't matter where they go or what they do. And I've had very many clinicians that use my protocol too, and they go to shows all the time and they just use um, the, there's no law, I mean, they'll tell you that there's a law, but there's no law that says that you have to give vaccines. Um, but you do have to do a, a Coggins and you just have to have a health certificate from your vet, which is basically what I found out is they take their temperature. So anyways, so it's the immune system is trying to fight it off. And so he's probably not, um, there's something in his environment that's causing it. Okay. Um, a lot of times it's stress and, um, a lot of horses that go into auctions, you know, they'll catch it and the healthy ones won't, but, um, the um, usual upper respiratory tract URT, viral infections begin with depression, poor appetite, and clear nasal discharge. So they're off. They got a little bit of a fever. Um, the horse will just, just won't look right, you know. So if he comes down with the, the thing, these are the um, protocols that I use. So make some supertonic. My girlfriend, she had a horse, no lie. She called me. She had everything done with the vet. The horse still had snot. The horse still was coughing. <laughs> and I already went through the bout of antibiotics. And um, so I told her, I said, make the super tonic and go get some echinacea tea because she wasn't going to buy it from where I told her to buy it from. So you get some super tonic. It's real easy to make. Let me see if I can find it here. And I'm going to close these out as we go. Okay. So this is Dr. Schultz's. He's the one that came up with the super tonic. It's fresh juices of horseradish root. So it drives the formula of the supertonic to the head where you want the sinuses to drain. And you have to, you guys, you got to do this all at once. You've got to do it all at once. Okay, the throat and lungs. So it's going to drive the horseradish. If you ever drink it, it's amazing. I make it all the time. I sell it all the time. I don't have it on my site, but I'm going to put it on the Natural Equine Remedy site. And so it's, uh, and then you have organic garlic juice, any garlic will do, um, next to can to the, or onion juice. And we have onions in there, the two best herbs to flush microorganisms from the body. Organic yellow ginger root juice. And he uses habanero pepper juice, but I'm going to tell you something. You're not going to eat that. And I mean, a horse might, but... <laughs> You're not. So for yourself and your horses, all you got to do is get the hottest cayenne pepper that you can find and put that into the super tonic. And then apple cider vinegar preserves the plant juices and cleanses the body too. Okay. And so it is an herbal tonic and it, um, it's great for the common cold and it's great for breathing. So it really, really helps. Okay. So the next one that I say to use is oregano oil. You must use oregano oil and you have to put it behind the lymph nodes and in the mouth. It is going to burn, but the horses will eat it. I had my horse eat it the other day. I couldn't believe it. I opened it up and he loved it. So I was like, you want it? Take it. So, so you put them on the lymph nodes and the jawbone behind the ears. You can use fractionated coconut oil or olive oil because it will, um, burn a little bit but I found out with doTERRA though and this is um, FDA um, not approved claim that <clears throat> other oils will welt up and I didn't know it's because when they welt on a horse it's because there's synthetics added and I have put the oregano horses on, oregano oil on my horses and they haven't welted at all from doTERRA and they used to so I give it straight in the mouth um, I don't dilute it at all. A lot of people say, you should dilute it. Well, I want the full strength. My horse is sick. I want to get, you know, it's only two drops. I've taken it before. And yes, it burns, but it's a hot oil, but 
If you want to, go ahead and put it in a little olive oil. I don't because I want to kill that bacteria, okay? So um, then the next one, well, let's go over here so I can show you. So <clears throat> I pulled up a site, and I don't know, it's whatever, Huffington Post. And I don't know where it is. If it'll scroll down. So benefits of oregano oil. So it, um, it's great for inhaling, drinking of drops and juice. Uh, you can put it in apple cider vinegar. It's great for the GI. Uh, it's antifungal. And you use it on your skin. It's a natural oil repellent. And it fights against, it's, an antib it's like an antibiotic. You're giving your horse like an antibiotic. Okay, and you want that. It will kill strap anopheles bacteria. Okay? Great, great stuff. I suggest using a good brand. doTERRA is the best, but uh, income, I mean, not income, but uh, FDA claim, not making a claim here. So, um, yeah, so you definitely want to do that. And you can just do it for a couple days. Three days is, I think, what you use. And then I also give, now you have to give this all at the same time. You can separate it during the day, but it's got to be hit hard, okay? You got to give them that super tonic. Um, this is the olive leaf from Dr. Axel's um, site, Dr. Axel's site, antiviral, okay? And you can use this to, um, I, what I do is I buy the pills at the vitamin shop. They're just as good. And I give them like four or five pills twice a day during the cold season, during the, the episode. And I only give it until I see relief, but it's not going to kill the horse. It's not going to hurt the horse at all. And so it, it, it includes, um, it um, fights the viruses that cause the inflammation and the respiratory. It's awesome, awesome stuff, you guys. Okay? Awesome stuff. Okay, so then the next one is you have to, and you can mix this up. I mean, you can put the olive leaf pills in a gallon jug, put your homeopathics in there, make your echinacea tea. Okay, and you can even dump some of the super tonic in there, and so you can syringe it right into his mouth. Listen, you've got a sick horse, you know, you want to get him over it. You want to save on, I mean, this this works, proven work. I've had so many horses go, people called me afterwards, oh my God, it doesn't, you know, my vet can't help, my horse is still sick. My girlfriend just gave the super tonic and the echinacea tea with some homeopathics, and it was gone in less than, she said, the snots were gone in less than five days. So... Um, and you can also use no soaps, but this is herbs of the world. Okay. It's the best echinacea you are ever going to find on the planet. I'm sorry. She always has the best herbs. I've never seen anybody have better herbs than hers. And so it's called moon, uh, moon, a moon system. And you only need to give that to them, um, for five days during their episode. And you, again, you can mix it. In with the with the apple cider vinegar, so you can only just you know everything gets mixed up. Just give them a half a cup to a cup a day, or a half a cup in the morning and a half a cup in the evening, and um, do the oregano oil, and you're good to go. So it's all in my book right here. So you want to use the spongy atel stuff, okay? So let's go back here. What does that do? Well, it uh, let me show you. This here, spongy atel, it's great for colds. It helps the nose alleviate the runs, water, and um, discharge mucus. It helps for the cough. It helps for croup. It's really good for kids on croup. I mean, hoarseness, sore throat. It is great for breathing, asthma. It is really, really great stuff. So, and you, it says here, I think you use, um, I think it's, down here I think it's like three pills twice a day for three days so and then the Carly carb that's great too um, that's also for um, opening up the lungs and the ammonia carbonate and that is that's a builder immune builder and then you want to give them ester C and of course the acetylene is the olive leaf now you can also try the Carly the um, where is it? What's it called? Oh, the Carbo Combo. That's an immune, um, it's in my book. 
that is new. It's a new mineral. It's sort of like the big sky, but it just really focuses on the um, more of the immune system itself. But the Echinacea from Herbs of the World is great, great stuff. So Strongyl's the same thing. It tells you everything about it. Um, so if you have Strongyl's, you have to put the oregano oil on the lymph nodes, okay? And in the mouth, okay? And um, if you want to bring the fever down, you could use Belladoma, okay? So what else do I got here? That's the colic one. So this stuff, um, Andy says, if the horse won't get better at all, you can give him a little tablespoon of kerosene. I know that um, sounds drastic, but really um, a lot of people have said that it works. If your horse is going to die, you could do that. But, um, I mean, it's just amazing what this, what this, um, this whole remedy can do. So it's really simple, really easy. Let's see if I have anything else. Um, nope. Oh, here is, so doTERRA is a, it's a cleansing agent. This is their oregano oil. Just wanted to show it to you. And I'll put this over here. And so it also acts as a um, respiratory function. And you can take it internally. Like I said, uh, with people, you would have to do the, the, the little um, oil pills that you put in there but um anyways it's got a lot of thymol in there which is really good for the for the lungs so um you can diffuse it too you can put even drops on a cloth and let them smell it you know um but um it is it's just powerful stuff so you guys um you want to help your horses stay healthy be healthy uh, this is the remedy for strangles, colds, flus. That I'm, I'm just uh, amazed how well it works. I've worked, I've given it to so many horses. It's not even funny. Also, if you wanted to, you could do um, along with that. If the horse is really having a hard time breathing, you can take. I did this to one horse. The man, had, he was crying. All the vets couldn't help the horse. It was so sad. He, was, he had snots like that, coughing. He thought he was going to die. So uh, we. We, we gave them everything that I told you in this video, and we wrapped, we took uh, towels, and we wrapped the deep tissue lotion on his lungs around his body, and we um, vet wrapped it, and so it stayed there overnight, and we, it stayed there for like three days, and after he did the whole protocol with the homeopathics, the supertonic, the oregano oil, um, the echinacea, and the mucus mover, you got to have the mucus mover. It was amazing. That horse was, wasn't even coughing like after four or five days. And he was just running, bucking, and kicking. So hope this helps. Leave a comment. Buy the book, Natural Equine Remedies, so you can help your horse through strangles, colds, and flus. Okay? Bye. Oh, and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay?